from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm John Sheska, your National Ambassador of Young People's Literature. It's my final hours here, and as I pass over the torch to the new ambassador, I thought we would just hang out and maybe let you on the inside, let you know what happens with ambassadors. <laughs> Catherine. Uh, <clears throat> yes? I have the big questions now. All right. We should not show the secret handshake, but I'll, maybe I'll just ask you some questions that kids might ask you. Like, okay. Where do you get your ideas? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I say when a child asks me where I get my ideas? I ask very earnestly, where do you get yours? I'm always in search of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so you steal them from children. I, steal them. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> well, I thought maybe we would just talk about the ambassador thing. Um, I know we've had some secret meetings that we haven't told people about, where I told you how the limousine works and that the jetpack does not work very well. I'm not going to try that Don't one. Don't try the jetpack, because yeah. you know what? The one thing on the right, the, it works. The engine is bigger than on the left, so you just end up going in circles. It's not going to be good. <laughs> I, can, I can do that without any jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to warn you, when, whenever you go anywhere, people are crazy about this position. They That's love good it. to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, they'll just make you crazy stuff. They'll make you sashes. They'll make you hats. They'll make you t-shirts, <laughs> and you have to wear it all. Oh. So, I don't know. Do you have any questions about what you're getting yourself into here? Maybe we should start You're making that. me nervous, John. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just going to be fun. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just going to be fun. <laughs> no. no, I think one of the cool things about being the ambassador is that just, it's what we've always sort of done naturally, like when we're writing and getting out to an audience. That was sort of the way I, I figured it when I was asked if I would be, if I would consider being nominated. I thought, well, that's what I've been doing for 30 years, yeah. uh, since you were born. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's why I think you're such a spectacular choice, too, is because you have been doing this. You've been just showing people by example how they can become readers. No, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. And not so much lecturing. In fact, I thought that's why it was a great at this ceremony here when the kids got to ask those questions. Uh, it's, it's the same kind of stuff that we answer all the time, yes. which is nice. Well, it was nice that they asked it in front of adults because they don't, adults often don't know how intelligent children are right. and don't give them credit for it. So yeah. I'm, I'm always proud of my readers. And I think our biggest <laughs> job is to take that thing that we do mm -hmm. with kids and in classrooms and in libraries and take that out to a bigger bunch of people yes. at large like this. Yeah. So do you have any particular um, thoughts about like what kind of things you'd like to do the most? Well, um, I, I do enjoy talking to children. I, I have trouble yeah. really going to schools, except in the state of Vermont where I live, because yeah. uh, it's just it can get to be really uh, too much. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, but, in fact, I think that's a good thing, to, similar to what I did when I was, mm -hmm. was working as the ambassador, was to tell people, like, the ambassador comes to big events. Mm -hmm. You have, really have to have, like, a blockbuster thing. Like, there's plenty of cool city festivals, mm -hmm. say, like, in Miami mm -hmm. or Austin, Texas, or the national one here. Oh, the National Book Festival. Of course, yeah. I've been... Now you're in charge of the National Book Festival. Oh, really? Yes. I thought John Cole had to run that. <laughs> no, he didn't tell you about that. <laughs> no. He wanted me to break it down. <laughs> so you're going to have to organize all of no, it. But that's, uh, that's really one of the most wonderful events that anybody can go to that cares yeah. about books. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Billington was saying this morning that they were just getting more and more families, the whole family coming into the festival. Which, which is, makes sense, kind of the thing that you're talking about, getting kids reading within a family. Exactly. I mean, exactly. did you want to tell us any more about that? Yeah. Like well, what your platform uh, will be? Well, <laughs> <laughs> that when, the, when they said I had to have a platform, I got very nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, that does sound kind of like. <laughs> but, you know, I just want people to read, and I want, I'd love for people to read together and talk about what they've read, because I think it, it changes yeah. your mind and it changes your life. Yep. Um, and your, I, I mean, we need a, Educated citizenry, which is yes. what Thomas Jefferson was trying to do at this library in the first place, yep. is to, uh, because you can't have a democracy unless you have people who are knowledgeable and yep. who think and who uh, discuss ideas and 
And, and I think, it, and that is the greatest, I love that you gave that answer to that mm -hmm. whole assembled group of kids and parents, mm -hmm. because that answer is that big question, like, well, why do we want to be readers anyhow? Yeah. Like, what yeah. difference will it make? And that is the difference. And it will make a difference. Yeah. Oh. And, and always, dictators have not wanted people to read. Yeah. That's, that's a real clue. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.